It's hard to have these hopes and dreams, especially when I got Hey, what's up peeps? It's E-Man's 24-7 here coming back at you guys again live from outside the man cave on my round table of unboxings. I think I'll call it that from now on. You know, it makes me feel regal, very kingly. Yes, yes, I like it. I like it a lot. But back to the reason why you all came here for another epic 1080 tie unboxing. This time, it's gonna be even more epic than the last time where I said it was epic. Trust me, just, just wait and see, just wait and see. I'll be bringing to you peeps a 10 EVGA 1080 tie for the win three edition Elite Gaming. Boom, baby, here's the box. And guess where I got it from? You guessed it, Micro Center, the greatest place on earth. And I traded in, you guessed it, my Strix uh, 1080 Ti. And I ended up only paying, drum roll please. Seventy bucks for this card, which goes for about eight hundred and seventy-five dollars retail. After trading that in, um, I price matched this card with uh, Newegg. It had it for eight fifty, so that took an extra like twenty-five dollars off. And the, I just paid the difference between my Asus Strix, which was like seven hundred seventy dollars, and this. And it'll pay about 70 bucks. So and I plan on getting a warranty um, on this through Micro Center, two year warranty. Their warranties are amazing. I would get a warranty on everything if I could. Great people there, um, great service. Um, can't recommend it more. Micro Center, ha, you are God's. <laughs> But on to the unboxing, which is what you guys came, or you peeps came here for. So as you peeps can see, it's just like any other 1080 Ti. It has 11 gigs of uh, GDDR5X RAM. Um, but actually that's where it differs. And that's the reason why I bought this one. I know I just kind of caught myself off guard there. I just remembered something. Um, this 1080 Ti has a new memory module or at least the Elite Gaming editions uh, for the Winds have this module that no other 1080 Ti has. And these memory modules are overclocked higher than the normal ones. So a regular 1080 Ti from NVIDIA or any other manufacturer, uh, the memory comes overclocked or comes clocked at 11 gigahertz. Now this one has been updated with a new memory module and those come clocked at 12 gigahertz and so that's almost a 600 plus overclock or 500 plus overclock on the memory um, versus the old model so this is specifically why i picked up this one no other graphics card not even the kingpin has that memory module um, though the kingpin has a lot of other features that this does not have um, by the way i went into my kingpin but when i saw that price tag i was like Mm, I think I'll pass. I think I'll pass. But uh, on to the unboxing. Once again, this card, as any other 1080 Ti, supports DirectX 12, GameWorks, Ansel, and VR works. So if you want virtual reality, this this can definitely push it. For so HTC Vive and all that. And so now there's not much on the box. Oh, here we go. This card has nine temperature sensors on it. And if you guys can, you peeps can see it right there um, on the edge, it shows where it's plotted out. And EVJ went to above and beyond on the cooling of this graphics card. And you all will see it um, once I box it here. And this is all due to the press they got from their last uh, round of For the Winds. It was about when the 1080 came out. They were having issues with the VRAMs overheating 
And some of the cars were actually catching on fire. But then I thought somebody was barbecuing. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. But it wasn't EVJ's fault. It was a poor manufacturing by the component suppliers weren't testing their equipment properly and they were basically being sold faulty equipment. So EVJ said, regardless of the components, we're going to do as much as we can on our end. So kudos to EVJ. And I mean, they went all out on this. So I'll show you all more of that. And actually, let's begin the unboxing. So I'm going to do a smooth transition. So you see a bunch of, oh, we got some stuff falling out here. Oh, oh, the card already came out. Oh, well, I guess this little foam section, put that back on. I'll go ahead and give you peeps a walkthrough of what materials in here. I can just throw that to the side. Don't need that. We have a graphics card user guide. I guess for beginners, this would be useful, but nah, I've been doing this a while. And then you have an installation guide for graphics cards. Once again, been doing this a while. Oh, okay, this is interesting. Important notice, thank you for choosing EVGA. In order to provide improved heat dissipation, some areas on the back plate, base plate are silver, aluminum, in color. See below for diagram. This is normal and provides the best thermal interface possible. Thanks, EVGA. Hmm, okay, well this is pretty neat. And so what I meant by EVGA going like all out on the cooling, even the back plate, which not many manufacturers take into consideration when it comes to cooling, is optimized for maximum cooling. And if you peeps can see that, I wanna zoom in for you. That's just crazy to me. And I'll go ahead and show you all um, some of the optimizations they made further once I bring the card out. Okay, so please do not return to the store. EJ offers direct customer service. I'm turning it back to Micro Center because they're awesome. And got a couple stickers here. EVJ Enthusiast built. And we have a really interesting poster. Let me check this out. Superior hardware. I'm going to see so you peeps can take a look at it. It looks like Iron Man, um, which is pretty, pretty dope. It has like a little gaming thing. Um, Nah, not too bad. Actually, I remember I got uh, a poster from my 1080 classified version and it had like this really cool like knight dude with like a flaming sword. Um, my personal opinion, I like the knight dude with the flaming sword. I think it's more epic. I think it's more worthy of the unboxing round table, to be honest with you. But you know, Iron Man's cool too. You know, I like Marvel, you know, so not hating, not hating. You know, just appreciate it. So, moment of truth, the card. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that to the side, little foam plate. I'm sure you all got a sneak peek when it fell out there. I'm gonna go ahead and take this and pop this guy open. Pull this, Let's look at this way. Move this foam box. I should play Halo music right now. My goodness, that is fine. Look at that. Okay, you peeps gotta see this. You peeps just have to see that. Look at that. Let's see if I can get you up close. That is a nice looking shroud. I mean, look at that cooler. It's got like this powder coated white finish to it, frost finish. Um, and I think it's I think it's plastic. It feels like metal, like aluminum, but I, I really do think it's plastic. Um, I had to check on that, but it, it, it's, it's, a, it's one good looking cooler right here. But, oh, and check it out. So this is the back plate. And as you can see, like we were mentioning before, it has like little slots in the back plate, which help ventilate heat off the card. And most, um, most gra graphic card manufacturers don't really take, you know, cooling, you know, to this level. I mean... If you look, how look how thick that back plate is. I'm be honest with y'all, this is heavier than my Asus Strix card that I had that I traded this in for. And if you look here, if you all can see it, there's like little spikes 
those spikes are coming off the back plate, I believe. Um, and what it does, it helps to create more surface area for heat to be trapped in those spikes. And the fans can blow the heat off of those spikes. And so that is really neat. And if you look in the back, it has the rear I.O. And I believe we have, let me go ahead and take these guys up. Boop, bloop, bloop, bloop. It has three DV or three display ports, 1.4 version, I believe, and a one 2.0 HDMI port and one DVI port. And it's all two slot. That's a two slot car, which is really cool. And it's really impressive on EVGA's part to make this a two slot car. While most 1080 ties out there nowadays are like three or two and a half to three slots. Uh, Asus, Strix, and uh, Zotec Extreme. Those cars are huge. Um, this uh, two slot design allows you to have three of these in a system for a three way SLI or a four way SLI even. Um, yeah, this is a really, really nice setup card. And as you see in the front here, you have, this will be showing out the side panel of your computer. It has the logo, and that's RGB controlled within EVGA software, Precision XOC. Um, and so you can make that, you know, any color in the RGB range. And I believe it has like rainbow effects and um, pulse. And then you have these three LEDs here. One says G, one P, and one M. These are neat because they give you a status indicator on how each of those components are doing. So G stands for GPU, P stands for power delivery or AKA VRMs, and uh, M stands for your memory. And so basically what happens is these are usually blue at idle. Um, and then once they reach a certain temperature, I'm not exactly sure which one, but they turn green and then red is like, oh crap, you should probably take this out of your system now before it implodes. Um, but I highly doubt that will happen. I think EVGA has taken many steps to prevent that exact thing from happening. So, and of course, uh, I'll show you guys the fan layout. Um, as we mentioned before, the two LEDs, uh, each of these fans uh, perform independently of each other. So this one works with the GPU, cooling specifically the GPU. This one cools specifically the VRM and the power delivery, and this one cools the memory. And that's pretty neat because in the software where you can change the uh, RGB, you can also control these and set these based on the temperature of those three components individually to perform at different speeds, um, which is ingenious uh, for EVGA to do. Um, give you guys another pass through of the card. So of course it has uh, two eight pin connectors. Um, again, this is the rear back plate. And this is one of the best back plates I've seen uh, for cooling wise um, on any graphics card I've owned. The rear IO, you got three uh, 1.4 display ports and one HDMI 2.0 port. The front of the card that you see coming out your case with RGB. And then you have the uh, side of the car with the five heat pipes you can see where all the heat gets soaked in and dissipated through the fins and fans. And of course the cooler, which is amazing. Check that out y'all. And so, as I mentioned before, this cooler will be coming off and I'll be slapping on the water block and I'll be updating the Ultimate Mini ITX water cool build, which you guys can check out and link over here. This will be part of the upgrade package I'm giving that uh, system. It's gonna be pretty epic. I know epic is my favorite word, but trust me this time, it is even more epic than just this card. And it's involving three letters, R, I'm assuming you know the rest of the two, G and B. And so I'm excited for it. Uh, I'm actually gonna make a build log for you guys and to keep you guys up to date. I'm sorry that I've been gone so long. I wanna be able to make more content on the regular and I think the build log will be perfect for that. And so stay tuned for that peeps. 
And so I have to go, but I'm glad you guys can join me for this unboxing of the EVGA 1080 Ti for the Win 3 Elite Gaming White Edition. Whew, man, that's a long name. Oh my gosh. Whew, that, I had to catch a breath there. But if you peeps enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you didn't for some reason, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, I'll use y'all's constructive criticism to take my channel to the next level. I want to make the best videos possible uh, for you peeps. And I guess that's it for this episode. I hope you peeps can join me again, Emans247, on the next episode. Peace. I'm in love with the cocoa.